Hello, today we're going to have a very quick video on how you clone a Git repository. So the purpose of Git, as we explained in the last video, is to manage a project and all the files within the project. Git stores all the information in a data structure called a repository. It's basically all of the files and folders from the project. In this video, we're going to walk you through how simple it is to clone a Git repository to your local machine so that you can get started with the rest of the course materials. And again, this video applies to cloning any Git repository. In this example, we're just going to use the choose to code one that we've been working on. So the very first thing we want to do is we need to go to the GitHub page that we're going to be cloning. So in this case, it's github.com slash choose to code. And if I scroll down on the page, there's a link here that says experienced start. So if I click on this link, you'll see inside of this repository, there's just two files, app.css and index.html. This is what we want to clone down to our machine. So the first thing we want to do, let's figure out where we want to put this on our machine. So if I open up my Explorer here and I'm going to go to my documents, I want it to end up in a folder in here called choose to code. So I'm going to remember that real simple. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up my command prompt. Okay. So there's my command prompt. And in this case, we remember we wanted to put, we want to make sure we're in our documents folder. So in this case, I know I just can do CD space documents and it'll bring me right to my student documents folder. And if I hit DIR, we'll see that the folder's empty. Now all I need to do is I need to go to my Git repository page and you'll see in the bottom right hand corner here we have a clone URL. This basically is the URL that we pass into Git. It tells it how to get the files and what files we're getting. So we want to copy this URL and you can simply just hit this little copy link right here and it'll copy it to your clipboard. And then if I go to my command prompt, real simply, I'm just going to type in Git space clone space and if I right click over here it'll paste the link in and then if I do a space after that I'm going to type in choose to code so what this is telling it to do is we're telling git we want to clone the following repository into this folder and then if I hit enter that's it so you'll see it literally just went out to github and it pulled down all the files and if I go to my folder here now you'll see there's now a folder called choose to code if I minimize this, let me open up my Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to go to File. I'm going to Open Folder. There's my Choose to Code folder. I'll select the folder. And there's my index.html. There's my app.css. And if I just double click on the file locally here, there's the starting web page that we're working with. And that's it. So I hope today you've learned just how simple it is to clone any Git URL. Remember that what I showed you today applies to cloning any Git repository, not just the choose to code one that we demonstrated. Thanks and have a great day.